Good morning, folks. Uh, it uh, came to my attention um, recently that next week is our last week, so we only have three classes after this, uh, which means we'll probably make this the last assignment that's due. Um, and then we'll work on some stuff on Thursday to just show you so you know it. And we'll make this due not next Tuesday, but the Wednesday after. Uh, what I want to show you today um, is uh, where we get to basically faking things in the photograph. Um, you'll notice I should have a layer here, and I'll turn them off to get back to them. Um, oh, I didn't name it. Isn't that my fault? There it is. Um, I'm going to rename this because I should name all of these. We're going to call this wood. Uh, and the thing about this mat is that I'm making up large parts of it. Um, for example, I have to fix this because it's not, it's not ideal. Uh, but let's look at the mat a little bit and talk about how we get there. Um, first off, I want to turn off all my layers when I'm doing this mat pull. Uh, we want to turn off that one, definitely. And I want to do it from the background copy because that's going to get me the best results of everything. So let me, let me shut down some layers here. Oh, I should name all those too, but I haven't. Okay. We'll lose our hat. We'll lose our guys in front right now and our railing stuff. And we'll start back here uh, where we need to we need to get what is wood on here. Um, it's not always so easy to tell what is wood. Uh, I'll tell you something I might do primarily to get the wood. I know that there's wood here and I know that there's some stuff from the chair here. Um, I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Okay, and I'm going to try to um, play around with the brightness and contrast so I can pull out as much wood as possible on this layer. Uh, let's go over to image and, oh, you know what? I locked it. I'm going to unlock it. Uh, you can lock things um, so you know. Right up there. Uh, I didn't want this layer moving around, so... I turn on that lock icon and then I won't accidentally move it around and do stuff to it. That, that can be very useful, especially when you're trying to do this sort of thing. Um, okay, let's go back up here. This layer I put up here so I can mess around with it. Image adjustments. Uh, I'm going to use levels because what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to get everything that is wood to pop out as much as I can. And I believe that means... That means cutting a lot of the top. Like, I'm not that concerned with what I see on the top here because this is going to be used just, just to find out the parts of this that are wood. See, now that, I think, is a boot. And this is a boot, but there might be some part of the table there. I'm almost certain this is his other knee, which I can see more clearly when I do that. And I can make out a lot more of the chair, actually, too. Which is good. That's a much better thing for me to pull the mat on. Let me see if I should go down further. If it helps or hurts. Actually, it helps a little bit. Because, again, I don't care what the guys look like at all. All I care about is getting everything in this thing that is wood. I'm going to hit OK on that. Uh, now... On this image, I'm going to start to use those tools. Uh, if I start down here, I know that that's part of the chair. Uh, let's go to our, our matting tools. I don't think these will pull that well. Oh, I am incorrect. It's actually pulling shockingly well. Uh, I'll fix that little thing later. Um, and I'll fix this later. Uh, you know what? Maybe let, let's, let's quick mask. Uh, and we can fix it right now. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. And we'll swap these. We'll change the size of that brush. I right mouse click there, and that gives me a little quick brush control. Ah, oh, wrong way. 
Okay, so I know that's part of the wood, and it will be easier if I'm quick masking for me to do this the opposite way, for me to paint on what I know is wood. So let's leave quick mask for a sec. I'm going to invert that selection. Inverse. And now when I go to quick mask, it will look like that. So now I just have to go in and paint over wood. Uh, I want my brush to be much more narrow. Maybe a little narrower than that even. And I'm going to play with the hardness a little bit, which will give it a soft edge. Good. Control Z. Uh, I need my brush more narrow, actually. We'll try that. Yeah, and why not? Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. ah. Okay. And I assume that's his jacket, although you know what? As I said, this is going to be about making stuff that isn't there. So let's just... That control Z, that went a little too sharp. We'll run it like that. Assuming that's where we see the back of the chair going. Uh, over here, I can make out a lot more now. Let's swap these. And I'll increase my brush size a little bit. Uh, a little bit more than that. Yeah. And I believe this is wood, too. I'm going with it. Ah, control Z. Let me zoom in here and fix some of that. Okay. And let me back out to keep my perspective. Um, I'm going to say that this is wood over here. Yeah, you know, this is stuff that's probably far better done with a tablet. Truth be told. And let me uh, fix that, too. There's no point in doing this if it's going to get all messy. Um, this is a selection one could spend a lot of time on, clearly. We call that wood there. Uh, I'm going to, and this is really just fiction on my part, but I'm going to pretend the chair does that. I don't know that it does, but we'll, we'll cross that when we get to it. Um, let's do this guy's chair over here, which I can see a lot better now. Uh, I know this is wood here. Da, 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 da. And uh, let's increase that brush size a little. Good. That's going to be wood there. Uh, we'll decrease the brush. Um, I think that this back here, actually, I think this is part of his chair. So maybe I wasn't wrong on that other... The other mat I did. Maybe. His jacket, I think, ends up over here somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm getting better chair there. Uh, let's shrink our size a little bit here. A little bit more. Yeah. Now, an important thing about this is we're not going to use this image for anything other than defining where this mat is. I'm going to assume it goes up to here, roughly. I'd be making up the back part of that uh, pretty clearly. Uh, over here, we have this. We have this. We have, I think, part of a jacket or something here, but 
That is pretty clearly chair. Uh, this, and he has one of those thick legs again on the backs of these chairs. Uh, 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 this is a lot of precision work. Um, okay, I'm getting away with that, I think. Um, actually, what did I do over here? And why did I do that? <laughs> You know what, let me get the other stuff and then I'll go through and try to repair what I think needs repairing. Like I think this, this obviously needs to be straighter. Uh, let's get this over here. Um, that actually, and that's one of the reasons we did the, um, we changed this, is that I should be able to pull this pretty easily that way. Um, I'm wrong, but <laughs> uh, you're not letting me. I'm doing something wrong, no doubt. Just for quicks, so let's magic wand it and see what happens. If I hold on my shift key, nothing. Go there again, uh, and I'll head back over to my quick select tool. And we're adding to it. I'm certain of that. It doesn't like that. Why don't you like that? There's probably some very good reason for it. Let's see if magnetic glass will work for me. Actually, magnetic lasso is working uh, shockingly well. It's not a tool I use often, to tell you the truth. And I can see that that is chair there. Not chair, but it is uh, wood. This goes over his knee. That could be um, that could be Van Gogh's knee. But regardless. Uh, you know what, let me just get this and then I'll fix it later. Uh, this is making what's called a spline. Uh, sometimes called a path. <sighs> All that work and it disappeared on me. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, you know what? It's because I'm doing it the wrong way. That's my fault. They were already selected. Um, if we go over here... Uh, I have to I have to switch this again. I have to go to select and invert it, and now I should be able to use all my normal tools. Yes, that's why it wasn't working before because that stuff already was selected. I inverted the selection back, and now I should be able to much more quickly uh, use the fact that we modified all of the uh, brightness here. Oh, well, you know what? I can undo that more easily than I can do it. I think. Truthfully. Uh, so if we go to negative here and we make this brush a little smaller, something like that, I'm going to start to pick away. Yeah, there we go. Ah, there we go. Wow. Every now and again, Photoshop surprises me. Um, I got to get this part, but that shouldn't be that difficult, actually. I could paint that part. Um, let's head back over here, and we'll invert our selection again. And we'll hit that. And then over here, we just want to use a brush. Brush, 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 brush. Uh, and uh, I'll paint this in. Good. Good. Let me just back out there a little bit and we will see where this guy ends. Say so it ends on the boot there, is what we will say. Uh, 
That looks okay. I still forget what I was doing over here. Let me um, let me go in and fix that now. Oh, well, actually, maybe that is part of a chair, but I think I can get away without using it. Um, is there any other chair in here that I really feel a great need to get at this second? No, I think this is a good selection of it. Um, let's leave quick select mode. Uh, let's turn this off. And we'll go down to this good copy we have over here. Uh, let's invert that selection. And let's go under Selection Tool and use Selected Mask to see what we get. Um, this is everything I'm saying is wood, roughly. Uh, I might want to feather a little bit. And let me see what happens when I shift my edges. If I go too far, I get a little black room around them, which I don't want. I don't want to put it in too far. Do I want to feather it more? No, I think that's a good selection. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to save that selection because I put so much work into it. Uh, we're going to call this uh, Woods. And we're going to make our new layer. Uh, edit. Yeah, edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. And this is going to be my new wood. Uh, let's put it up here. Uh, let's name it. <laughs> Better off we do that right now. Um, let's make it look woody. Uh, I'll turn on my other stuff uh, because I don't get a better idea how everything is relating. Um, let's start here. The watermarks. Yes. This fixes someone's mustache, make our faces fleshy. I don't think we need that. Now we got the wood. Uh, on the wood, um, well, we'll do it the way we would normally do this. Adjustments, uh, use saturation. I'm going to use colorize, which instantly makes it kind of mahogany. Although, look at this. I have something in front there. Uh, let me hit cancel for a second, and then let me move my wood up. Maybe to here. And let's see if that works better. Image adjustments. Colorize. Yes. So that's over whatever that was. Um, and it's funny. It makes me realize I'm probably going to have to darken this a little bit. But I, I can get away with that later. Um, is there anything else I have to worry about with this? Let's get the, we'll get the color of the wood right. Um, the reds are at either end. So... I probably want to work it somewhere between red and yellow. Um, buh, 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 buh. Again, questions to ask. Actually, that doesn't look bad. I can decide how woody I want that to look. Oh yeah, that sort of that sort of reads like a dark wood. Uh, I'm going to hit OK. Uh, I probably should go fix this, but I'll I'll fix that later because the other thing I want to show you, and this is actually one of the hardest parts, which I've been saving till the end is uh, this, um, this railing back here. Uh, here's a problem with this railing. Um, it's gone because of the brightness of the background. See that? We can see a hint of it. But we can't really see where it is because the sunlight has obliterated these guys entirely. Uh, so, what I need to do is I need to take a good one of these and use it. Use it as a mat. Um, I think I actually saved that mat, but this is a mat you'd have to spend a lot of time on. Uh, let me see if I save that mat. I'm going to go back to my background copy because that's where I'm pulling everything from. Let's go under Selections and let's see if I saved uh, Rail. Okay. Good. So, what you see here is you see a mat I spent a lot of time on. Uh, let's get an idea how much time. If you look there, 
you'll see I um, there. Let's zoom in. I very carefully feathered this mat, maybe too much. It makes me want to shift an edge a little bit. Uh, and since I can still load it in, I can still control it because it will have to be blurred in a little bit. You know what? Well, we'll try that. Actually, did that just go away? No. Good. Okay. Um, now, I want a good one of those. Uh, edit, copy, edit, paste, and we're going to call this single rail. And we should be able to move it. Yep, control Z. I hate it when I go to the wrong one of these. Single rail, single rail, single rail. Thankfully, I named it which should make it easier to find it. Uh, it's not up there. Man, did I not? <laughs> I'm worried I didn't. I'm worried this is it. Yep, that's it. I didn't save the name. Let's save the name. Enter. Good. Now, let's move that rail back where we need it. Down here, probably. You see, I have some others in there. You'll also see they're going in front of our boys here, so I need a uh, copy of those guys that goes in front of it. Um, this is actually uh, a really good place to use um, the character tool, uh, because if I go down here, and they've gotten better about this, and I say, uh, go to my normal selection tool and say, select subject. Let it percolate. That's, that's what the other layer is. I know that those are behind them, so I want to set up. The order of these gets important when you're putting stuff behind things. Um, now... Let's take a look at our rails. Uh, railing copy, railing copy, single rail is here. Uh, so you know, I have those two there, these two here, and this one here. Uh, I'm going to combine them all. Ah. One, two, three. And now I want to merge layers. This will turn them all into one layer. Merge layers, those three. Good. Uh, and that means if I duplicate that, duplicate, duplicate, oh, what am I doing over here? Right mouse click, duplicate, 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 duplicate. I can take this one, and we want to turn off our selections now. And I should be able to get it to line up over here. Though it doesn't line up perfectly, so what I'm going to do, actually, uh, I, could, I, could, I can get away with that. The reason I can get away with that is that um, I can also just erase out the bottom of these so that they'll line up well. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. I'm on railing copy three, and uh, we have an eraser. There we go. You actually can blend them kind of nicely. Look at that. I have sort of faked it, right? Sort of. Except I don't have the top rail yet. Uh, i got to get the top rail. Uh, that I have to just fake directly. Uh, there's no real other way around that. Um, I will... Let's use polygonal lasso. And let's see if we can make what we need... Uh, I'm going to zoom in here, and uh, I'll start over here, let's say. And we'll pull down like that. And let's back out a whole lot now. We'll go like that. Let's go over a little tiny bit. Let's see if we can close that. Okay. Now I have this selection. Ah, 
Control Z. Okay, I have that selection. Uh, I want to transform that selection a little bit because it's a little bit too high in some places. So let's do this. Edit, uh, is it under selection when I transform the selection? Somewhere in here I can transform this damn selection. There it is. So this is a transform tool on the actual selection itself. Oh, I hate that you have to grab shift to make this thing not up to um, like maybe, well, I think one version ago, when you held down shift, it did things evenly. Now it's the exact opposite. You have to hold down shift to do things unevenly. Well, I get away with that. I might. I'm going to hit enter, which gives me that new selection. Uh, let's um, let's save it again because we don't want to lose the selection. We're going to call this uh, top banister. Okay. Uh, let's do our new layer thing. Copy, edit, paste. Um, we know we want it back there, which is good. Let's name this uh, top railing. And let's see if we can color correct our way to um, something convincing. Uh, what's my best choice here? Let's try you in saturation and actually, uh, whoop, wrong one. Uh, image adjustments, you saturation. We want to do is we want to desaturate like that. Oh, look, it has some marks I have to fix in it. You know what? Ah, uh, I, I know what mistake I made here. Uh, we're going to cancel and we're going to kill this layer. Delete. Um, we have to go down here. Let's reload that selection. Select, 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 load selection. Uh, we called it, I have a lot at this point. Top banister. Good. I have to select from here. Uh, edit, copy, so that now I should have just what's in there. And now let's paste and make that a new layer. And let's see. Yes. That's. That's where my new layer will be. Let's turn this back on. Now let's see if we can color correct our way to um, totally imaginary rail. Let's desaturate. Ah, yes. Let's... We don't want to... Actually, we want it to be just about the same. I think I can blur that into something photorealistic. I think. In fact, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and it makes this shadow work a lot better, because you see how we can see that shadow back there? I might want to thin it out later. Um, that's something I might need to do. Um, but it does give me some railing there, uh, which is kind of important to sell the photo. Um, Try to think what else I should go in here and I should fix this leg issue. Uh, I got to do the wine, the red wine. I have to do the hat. Actually, to tell you the truth, I think I did the hat. Yes, I did the blue part of the hat. And the reason we're going with blue there, so you know, is because it's very likely it's that hat. If it's really our boy. Um, is it? Could it be? It could be. It might be. But either way, he really liked that hat, apparently. Here's so much he used it in multiple um, self-images. So the belief is that that is probably, that's probably his hat. So we want it to be blue, and then I want to make this part blacker. Um, you know, and that will actually pull very easily, too. Um, okay, you got a lot to do on this photo. <laughs> We're done. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. <laughs> I think this is a wall, and actually, I could make this anything I want. If you look 
we have bricks on the stairs here and here, and then we have a door and what looks like a back porch, and then I think this is a wall that, as a fact, I'm certain of it because see how the shadow from the sunlight is hitting and leaving this shadow. So okay. this is probably, um, you know, uh, stucco wall. That's what I would go with. I could. <laughs> um, it, it would get much trickier. Uh, my guess is it probably wasn't far off this kind of yellowish color I have anyway. And the one thing I might want to do is I might want to give a tint to this area over here, um, which wouldn't be that hard uh, just because just because we already have the guys in front, so I don't have to have that precise a mat back there. I'd be more likely to do the bricks and the steps. Like, I might want to do those reddish, because maybe they are reddish. And that would be a whole separate mat where I have to get the stairs. I'm assuming the railing is white. I'm assuming that. Again, we made all this up, so <laughs> uh, it might not even be there. Um, but that's part of this. Like, at a certain point, if you remember the Stalin stuff, you know, they're just making up stuff wholesale at a certain point. Um, it is up to you. Uh, the more convincing you could make it, the better. I'll tell you another thing. There's a potted plant back here. See that? Um, and you can see there's even something growing in it. So this might be the color of terracotta. This might be kind of greenish. This door could be blue. Don't know. It's up to you. Does that answer it? Thank you. Okay. Um, so uh, that's a lot of information on how you do this. And if you get through this assignment, you'll have great skills at this. Uh, I'm going to call that it, okay, and leave you to work.